Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome with a new long clip set. <laughs> this time might be longer than expected. Uh, I don't know yet, uh, but we, before we start, I uh, would like you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications. And uh, today's problem is a simple one, just sine z equal to, you know, uh, sine z cannot take uh, values more than one or less than negative one. This is the range of the sine and the cosine function as well. But this in real numbers only. We need here to solve for z as a complex number. Uh, can the sine z be equal to two? We will find out, try to pose and uh, give that a try yourself and then continue to learn how to solve this one. Okay, we have this simple uh, equation. We will start with the trigonometric form for rational number, for sorry, complex numbers, which is cosine theta plus i sine theta equals uh, e to the power i theta. Okay. Of course, we have uh, r should be written here and here, but here I don't need r. I could, will assume that the r equal one. So I will only work on this simplified form. Uh, we will do a trick we did before that we will substitute theta with negative theta. So this one becomes cosine negative theta plus i sine of negative theta equal to e power i negative i theta, okay? And we can rewrite that here because cosine is an even function. So it's just cosine theta. And instead of uh, negative theta here, it will be negative i sine theta. Okay. And uh, that's equal e to the power negative i theta. Okay. I need only to isolate this sine theta. So I will uh, subtract these two equations. So cosines will cancel this time and I will have two i sine theta equal e power i theta minus e power negative i theta. And uh, that makes sine i theta equal e power i theta minus e power negative i theta all divided by two i. Uh, I need to solve that this equation, sine theta z equal to two. So it's e power i z this time minus e power negative i z over two i equals two. When we cross multiply that, uh, I know two i times two is four i, okay? So this is first part of the solution, just to drive this formula. To solve this one, it's a kind of quadratic, but to reveal that it is a quadratic, I will first substitute e to the power i theta or i z here as uh, say w, okay? So I can rewrite that as w minus one over w equals four i. Multiply by w here, it will be w squared minus w sorry, minus, yeah, minus one, uh, equals four i w. Make that a quadratic in appropriate order of terms. So it will be minus four i w here, minus one equal to zero. Of course, I'm going to use the formula. I cannot factorize that by myself. So the formula is saying that W equal negative B, remember for sure, plus or minus a square root of B squared minus four AC over two A. So in this case, negative B will be just four I plus or minus the square root of B squared, see that negative four I squared. Of course, negative squared is positive four squared is 16. I squared is negative, so it will be negative 16. So negative 16 here, minus four times one times negative one, which is plus four. So it's just, just negative four over two. You can simplify that dividing by two everywhere. So it will be two i here. And of course I will divide by four under radical, it's negative 12. 
So it will become negative uh, three only. Uh, this root of negative three in complex number equal plus or minus i root three, which can be written as i with a coefficient of two plus or minus a square root of three. What is that? It's w. What is w? w is e to the power i z. So I end at this part, e power i z equals one, uh, sorry, i times two plus or minus root three. Okay, this is an imaginary number, no real part in that. Okay, I need to get rid of uh, e now, I need to isolate that, so I will get the logarithm for both. So in this part, len for this side is just the iz, you know, len cancels that e. And this side, it's a product at the end of the day. So we can write that as len i uh, plus, for the product, len of two plus or minus root three, okay? To get rid of this i, I need that. You can divide by i or multiply the whole equation, the whole equation by i to the power three, which is negative i, of course, okay? So now z, I will multiply that by i power three, it will be i power four, i power four equal to one. You know that from the complex number properties. And here it will be negative i lin i. Okay. The rest here will be just negative i and the logarithm of uh, two plus or minus the square root of c. Okay. More, I can leave that like this as a solution, but I need to know what the hell is lin i. That will need a little working here. Uh, you know, i as a complex number can be written as zero plus i. To convert that to trigonometric form, zero is the cosine of um, pi over two, and one is the sine of pi over two as well. So it will be sine pi over two. So this i can be written as e to the power pi over two i in Euler form. So logarithm of i, lin i, is simply pi over two i. Of course, you can add uh, the periods for uh, the angle, but that will add the, I will add that at the end, okay? So uh, negative i lin i, when you multiply that by negative i, okay, times by over two i, of course that will be only by over two because i times negative i is one. So I can write that as its simplest form to just by over two here, minus i and the logarithm of two plus or minus root three. Okay, one more thing, you can prove that two plus root three by one negative one is one over two minus root three. You know, that's a very famous problem in middle school. You multiply here by the conjugates to prove that statement. So I can consider this amount is two plus root three raised to power one and power negative one at the same time. So we can rewrite everything like this final answer. Pi over two plus or minus this one, two plus, root three, two plus root three power one is one solution, two plus root three power negative one is the other solution, which is two minus root three. Uh, for these two solutions, it's at the end of the day, it's just an angle, uh, Z. So I add this part here, two pi n, because of the period sign. The period of the sign is two pi. So you add just a uh, integer number of periods, like two uh, n here, could be uh, zero or one or two, or even negative one or negative four, just an integer. Whole number positive or negative or zero, okay? This is the solution. Of course, that has multiple values as you see, and you can try sine z equal to, and cosine z equal to, to see if you can. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. I think it's uh, longer than expected. Uh, please uh, enjoy and subscribe like if you like that. 
and make a comment. If you have any suggestion or any questions, please leave a comment. And see you in another video. Thank you.